We just tried five ways to personalize some gifts. We did sublimation, etching, engraving, etching with color, and resin. And we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have a new video each week. This week, the parties are coming. It's that time of year and everybody's having a little holiday party and you know you can't show up empty handed. That's right. And the most fun holiday hostess gifts that I've seen are those that are personalized. So I love things with my name on it. <laughs> so we're going to try five different ways to make personalized coasters as as like host gifts. Right, and they don't have to be coasters, but these methods you can use on other things. Like we're gonna use wood, you could use that on a cutting board. We could use, we're gonna use slate. You can use that on a slate serving board. Some sublimation materials. Put that on anything, obviously. And then we'll be doing resin. So anything with a resin mold. And we're gonna be doing some etching. So oh, we've got a lot of fun right. techniques that we're gonna try and see how they go. Gift number one, we're gonna sublimate on some coasters. We have these Cricut infusible ink coasters. They're all ready for sublimation. And we needed some sublimation paper. We have our A-sub, eight and a half by 11. We need some high heat tape so that thing doesn't move when we're trying to throw down the heat press, in which we needed a heat press. We have our Cricut Easy Press. We needed some butcher paper so that the ink doesn't get on the Easy Press. I like this butcher paper. We're it still funny. using our meat hugger butcher paper. <laughs> And then we needed a sublimation printer. We have an EcoTank 2760 that we've converted into a sublimation printer. And I love this little printer. It's worked perfectly. It's been beautiful. It cuts eight and a half by 11, but I'm thinking I want something a little bit bigger now. I told Garrett I had my eye on a Christmas present. I'm hoping to get a sublimation printer that'll go a little bit bigger so that we can print a little larger image. Your motto is go big or go home. That is our motto. <laughs> We're gonna jump into Word. We're just in Microsoft Word. I'm gonna mirror the image. I'm gonna bump up the saturation just to scooch so it really pops on that coaster. Then we're gonna print it out. We're gonna trim it out so that we don't have a whole lot of excess paper that we're trying to tape down with the high heat tape. We're gonna use the high heat tape so it doesn't move or ghost while we're trying to press it. We're gonna cover it with our meat hugger paper then we're going in for six minutes at 400 degrees. All right, so you know, measure twice, cut once. I still made it a little too small. So we're gonna reprint it and try it again. It's all cooled down. Look at this thing. It is beautiful. It is exactly what I was thinking. We had a conversation, a little discussion around this, about this round red ring on the outside. Garrett's like, well, you don't want that. And I was like, but I do want that. So <laughs> it, I, I little take it negotiation back. there. I like the ring. I think it kind of just brings it together. Well, I think it looks great. This is cute little coasters to give someone and they're little holiday coasters. They only bring them out this time of year. Now it's best to use a, a JPEG over a PNG because a JPEG will give you those crisper lines. Okay. Gift number two, uh, we're gonna etch on slate. We have these slate coasters and some armor etch. This stuff is uh, powerful. Serious business. So yes. you're gonna need some, some gloves to protect your hands and some kind of paintbrush or something to glop this cream on. You're also gonna need a stencil. We're gonna use our Smart Vinyl and the Cricut to make our stencil. All right, first we're gonna apply the stencil. We're gonna make sure that stencil is down really tight. Try to get it in all those little cracks inside the slate. Rub it with your fingers if you have to. Second, we're gonna apply this blue tape because you wanna make sure that etching cream does not touch your work surface. If it touches anywhere outside of that stencil, it's going to leave a mark of etching. It's happened to us. So we're gonna seal it off with this blue tape to make sure it doesn't touch anything but the area that we want stenciled. Now we're just gonna glob on the etching cream. Now don't paint it. I was yelled at for painting it. Just <laughs> Put it on thick, pile the stuff on. You're gonna scoop it back off here in a second anyway. We're gonna wait 15 minutes. For slate, it takes a little bit longer. You gotta let that stuff sit. Glass, 
you're looking at a minute and a half, but for this slate, 15 minutes. Now we're just gonna scrape it off and put it back into the bottle. And once I have the majority of it off, we're gonna run to the sink and we're gonna rinse it off with just some warm water, rub it to get it all off. And since my glove's getting stuck to the stencil, we're just gonna pull the stencil off too. All right, look at that. I think that is the coolest. I love the etching on the slate. Well, he likes the slate. It's manly for him. I so. think it just looks classy. I mean, <laughs> it looks classy. I want this coaster. Yeah, bring a bottle of wine and this little set of coasters. It's yeah. nice, these can be used all year round. Yeah, I still won't use a coaster, but I want this coaster. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> Gift number three. We're gonna engrave on some wooden coasters. Now, we're just gonna take it over to the Glowforge. I'm gonna line up the image and we're just gonna let it run. But you can also do this with some ammonium chloride and a little bit of water and a stencil. A lot like we just did with the slate, but with ammonium chloride instead. And you'll put a link to that video? I'll put a link to the video where we did it right over here. <laughs> I picked up our coasters from Marshalls. It was a stack of four of them, and they're literally blank on either side. So they're perfect for this project, begging to be personalized <laughs> with some engraving on them. And then because they're so plain, I think I'm gonna add some cork to the back. So give some little feet. Yeah, and it's it some a little, little feet of some sort, I think. I mean, really, I'm surprised they're Otherwise, so flat. It's just a plank of wood. Yeah, but they're finished and they're beautiful, so yeah. all I have to do is engrave on them. To engrave on these, I'm just gonna line up the image using the camera, and then I'm going, I'm gonna attempt to do it with uh, thick walnut plywood settings. We'll see how that goes. And that's what I'm talking about. This is the easiest. This I think this is the easiest so far. I mean, now, it's the easiest if you have a Glowforge. Now, I still like the slate. The slate's my favorite, but this was probably the easiest so far, and I like it. Now it looks classy, too. It does look classy They're as so well. so classy. Yes. Yeah, that's how we do. Classy gifts at We the go big and classy. <laughs> Gift number four. We're going back to the etching, and we're gonna try to etch on these tiles, but I wanna add color. I wanna make them colorful coaster tiles. Yes, if you guys remember in July, we did a Christmas in July, trying to use these tiles. We were trying to sublimate on them, which we were never able to do. No go. So for this project, we're gonna try etching them. I think we can use the etching cream on these and use them as coasters. Now, I mean, I know they're not coasters, but they're I think- They're an odd coaster. I they're unique. I can't get it off, hold on. They're a, com they're a conversation piece. Well, I think, yeah, I think they would be, they fit a drink perfectly. It's the right size. And I think they look like a nice holiday coaster. Yeah. So if we etch something on there, and then again, it'll look in. classy. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll color it in and it'll well, look. I don't know about the color, but if we, can, we can try it. We can try it. I don't know. The color is going to make it pop. So for this project, we needed the armor etch again, the tiles. These are just the tiles that go like on a bathroom wall. Then we needed some paint markers. These are acrylic paint markers, so they'll get inside the etch piece. We need some vinyl to make our stencil and the Cricut maker to cut the stencil out. Transfer tape, I forgot to say it in the last one. <laughs> and the blue tape to really protect it so I don't get crazy with the armor etch and it gets everywhere. And the armor etch is a little bit crazy, so we need some <laughs> gloves to protect our fingers. Full circle, bring it all around. Again, we're just gonna apply the stencil to the tile. We're gonna, then we're gonna glop on the cream, really pile it on. I'm assuming this is like glass, so we'll give it like five minutes. Scoop it all back into the jar, rinse it off using the water, wipe off the residue with an alcohol wipe, and then apply the acrylic paint. I'm just gonna use these paint markers and put it in the holes. Now we're gonna wipe off the excess, all right, this one didn't really turn out like I thought it would in my head. It etched it, but barely etched it. It just like made it dull in spots. Yeah, just and then took it doesn't off the really, shine a little bit. It doesn't really hold the, the paint at all. Yeah. The paint just wipes right off. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try it again, but I yeah. think I'm gonna leave it on for like 
15 minutes this time. Which is what he told me in the beginning, yeah. but I told him it was She's tile, like, so you only needed five minutes. <laughs> now we're going in for 15. I'm gonna give it one more try, one more try. 15, all right. Number two might have come out worse. The paint <laughs> didn't stick at all this time. This was so it's disappointing. It's the same, so don't blame me with my five minutes. Yeah, 15, the 15 minutes didn't work either. The 15 is exactly the same as five, so it just barely etches. But you know what? I want this to work, so I am going to get it to work. So I'm going to try one more time, but not with the armor edge. Yeah, he's already... <laughs> all right, this time I'm going to take this and put it in the Glowforge. This, I'm getting it to work. So it's going in the Glowforge, and I'm gonna use 400 speed and full power, and we'll see if I can get it to engrave. talking about. That's exactly what I had in my head. Totally worked with the Glowforge, did not work with the Armor Etch. I think you could probably get it to work if you leave it like really long. Well, I'm know. looking, I mean, the feel of this, you guys can't really see how deep this is. It is deep. No, Those, it's barely deep. It just it's, took a It's like a lot a, deeper than this one. Well, yes but it's not nearly as deep as oh, yeah. the wood. Right. So it didn't, these must be really like, they won't Tough. sublimate. You yeah. can hardly agree on It's just a, just just a stone in, the in a shape. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's good if, if it's in the bathroom. You want to be able to clean it off. Yeah, yeah, you're cleaning chemicals. You don't want to mess them up. Yeah. Classy right there. Well, I don't Classy. know about that. I'm not loving the color. I I'm love not the loving color. the color. Because then you're I like, think we should do it again. Ooh, and then... should I put my, should I even put my drink on that? <laughs> Did somebody leave a piece of artwork on the table? I'm not sure that's going to hold up to getting wet and everything. I think we need to engrave this with the Glowforge. Just put the G on here. Maybe put a little of uh, black antiquing wax or, or black paint or something just to show. Oh, you just want a hint? A hint. You want a hint at design? A hint of G, and then I think it'll look cool and classy. It's, it's, it's not, I mean, it worked. Just not exactly what I had in my mind. It worked exactly like I had in mind. <laughs> Gift five, resin coasters. I have big dreams for these coasters. I really have a vision in my head of what I want them to look like. We will see if I can make that happen. She's been chit-chatting about these resin coasters all week. I do. I think they'll look really cool if I can bring my dream to fruition. <laughs> So we have saved the, the messiest and the longest for last. This takes forever and it's very messy. We're gonna need some resin. We've got the total boat resin. We need some resin molds, something to mix the resin in. We have these cups, something to mix the resin with, some popsicle sticks. Then we have pigments, some powders, and some of this liquid stuff, casting opaque pigment. <laughs> and then we have these little monograms that we cut out on the Glowforge that Kim wants to sink inside them. Yeah, well, so we use the Glowforge, but you can get these little letters. You can get letters at Michael's or Joann's, your craft store. So it's not a big deal that we use the Glowforge for this one. I think you could find a little S anywhere to sink in yeah. there to do what we're trying to do. I've seen that. Um, but for this one, we just went ahead and cut it out because we had that luxury. <laughs> To pop bubbles, we're gonna use a heat gun. And then this stuff is uh, smelly and dangerous. So we have some masks. We have to mix the resin. It's a half and half ratio for three minutes. That's like a three minute pour and stir. Gotta get those forearms. Are you gonna give me a break halfway through? Yeah, we can swap it out. All right. Or I'll just switch to Except my left Except I'll hand. go sit over here and <laughs> leave you to do it by yourself. So I'll muscle through, I'll power through. Then we're gonna divide the resin up 
Then we're gonna add the opaque white to the big cup of resin. We're gonna put some resin in some tiny cups so we can add the pigment to it. We're gonna pour the resin in. We're just gonna try to get around the edge, try to get the white in the lip. It is a lot harder than it looks. Give me a try. I feel like you're too heavy of a pour. I think if you do it lightly, oh. Yeah, yeah, have at it. It's not, not, as easy as it, not as easy as it looks, is it? <laughs> On the outside edges, I'm gonna add this copper bronze. It's actually bronze. Bronze. Around the outside, because I want it to bleed to the inside. And then I'm gonna add this gold, except I'm gonna add it to the outside. I originally thought I would put it on the inside, but I'm gonna put it here on the outside. Uh oh, change up. Change up. And now we're going to use our heat gun to blend it a little. I'm not trying to mix it all, but I do want it to spread a little so it doesn't look like a straight pour. And I'll be popping bubbles. Popping bubbles. I'm gonna add the letter now before we fill it all the way up because I want this to be to the top and I want you to be able to see it. So I'm gonna put it in first before we cover it too much. And then I'm gonna finish filling it up with our pigments and more of the opaque white. We're out of resin. We gotta mix some real quick. Popping bubbles. And now we just gotta wait for 12 hours. All right, well, I can't really see the personalization, babe. <laughs> It's a little more opaque than I thought. I just wanted, a, I wanted it so it is slightly white. It's not completely white, Yeah. but it's too white because now the S, I didn't realize this little tiny S, it is really thin, I used eighth inch, would float to the top. I mean, you guys saw it, I totally covered it. You couldn't see the S, but when I got back this morning, it is, it has risen to the top and oh. now, wait a minute, give it some light. I think, no, I can't. <laughs> But that one, you can't. If you really hold it up, you can yeah. <laughs> you can see the personalization. So I it's think like I'm gonna have It's like personalization. You could be like, hey, is that my coaster? No, this isn't your coaster. Then why is my S on it? And then I don't know the, I don't know. This isn't exactly, it didn't turn out like I wanted. Even the, even the bronze colors that I wanted to, you know, bleed in a little. Yeah. I mean, they're not too bad. I but like them. I think they're cool. Even if you can't see the personalization, I still like the design, and I like how it would go around. the Would you use the glass. this coaster? Would you actually use a coaster? Probably not. You know, <laughs> I would take the coaster and my glass with all intention of using the coaster, <laughs> but then set my glass next to it. So I'm gonna try these again. I'm gonna try these again, and if I get them to work, I'll post them on our social media so you can see. <laughs> uh, I will try them again because I do want to give these as a gift, and I even asked my sister some colors of her living room so that this would get a match. It's actually for my niece, but yeah. we will we will see. We will get them to work like I want them to, and then I'll post them and share them. Yeah, it's a little too uh, long to just try and then try again, <laughs> try again, like we did with the etching. That's a 36 hour experiment. Yeah, that's a, yeah. What'd you guys think? Sublimation, etching on slate, engraving on wood, etching on tile, or resin. Which is your favorite? My favorite is still the etching on the slate. I still think it looks classy. It just looks unique and classy. I wanted the resin to be my favorite, but it didn't turn out like Don't I wanted. <laughs> so, the sublimation turned out to be my favorite. This looks the, the nicest. Look yeah, how great that I'm gonna works. say sublimation. It might be my third favorite. I'm gonna say slate, <laughs> wood, tile, mm, sublimation resin. So sublimation's down on my fourth. <laughs> What's your list? Give us your list down in the comments. Otherwise, we are about out of time. So we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And you can join us for our Patreon after show if you wanna hear what's been going on in our new shop and oh. some of the you know, new adventures we've encountered over the past week. Big moves, <laughs> big machinery. I was even driving things. <laughs>
<laughs> what am I gonna balance like? Balance a slate. A coaster. It's too small. I don't wanna break that. Don't break my coaster. Yeah, I wasn't going to balance it. I wasn't gonna balance it. All right. No balance. 